I was taught to distinguish myself through presentation, not declaration, to excel through deeds and manners, not showing off. But isn't all memoir a form of showing off? In my Negro land childhood, this was a perilous business. Negro land is my name for a small region of Negro America where residents were sheltered by a certain amount of privilege and plenty. Children in Negro land were warned that few Negroes enjoyed privilege or plenty and that most whites would be glad to see them returned to indigence, deference, and subservience. Children there were taught that most other Negroes ought to be emulating us when too many of them, out of envy or ignorance, went on behaving in ways that encouraged racial prejudice. Too many Negroes, it was said, showed off the wrong things. Their loud voices, their brash and garish ways, their gift for popular music and dance, for sports rather than the humanities and sciences. I wanted to write the book when I took in that the elders of my world of Negro land were dying or fading away. I wanted to write a narrative, a story of that world. I wanted to dramatize and analyze. And I wanted to be the narrator as a critic observer and also as a protagonist. <laughs>